welcome to the Sugar Scoop. I'm Shelby Bauer and today we're going to be making an adorable sofa cake. Stick around to the end and you get to see actual footage from my grandma's birthday party. Making furniture inspired cakes as much as I do, then like this video and subscribe to my channel where I'll be uploading new videos every week. So I'm starting out with a rectangle piece of wood that I curve the corners and I'm covering it with contact paper to make it food grade. You can also do this with cardboard. I just like working with wood. And then I'm taking my little pattern that I made and marking where I want my feet to be. I'm going to cut four little dowels about an inch and a half long and these are gonna be my feet. And I'm splaying mine outwards. I'm just hot gluing them to the wood and splaying them outwards to make like a mid-century modern kind of feel for the legs because I, I like that look. I think it's cute. And then I'm going to be using brown Madame Lulu fondant. The brown Madame Lulu fondant is my favorite. It's like a chocolate fondant. It tastes so good. Covering the base of my wood with some edible glue and then just taking a modeling tool and making little swiggly lines to look like wood. And then I take a X-Acto blade and just cut around the edge and make it look nice and clean. And there's the bottom of our couch. I took four balls of fondant, rolled them into little snakes, and then poked a hole in the middle and covered up the feet. And now we have feet for our sofa. And then I just hot glue that to my marble board. Look up in the top right corner and you'll see how to make that. And then I had to cut my cake for the sofa base in two pieces because I didn't have a big enough piece of cake. It was almost big enough, but not quite. So I had to resort to uh, in two pieces, which is fine. They're, you know, sofa cushions. And so I just kind of cut them to fit nicely and then cut them in half and then covered the bottom part of the sofa with some icing so they stick and the middle part too, and then filled it with some yummy lemon buttercream. This is the back of the sofa. I'm honestly just kind of winging it using my pattern of the base to help me kind of decide how big it's going to be. But I mean, whatever sofa you're making, I have a reference picture in front of me, which is really helpful. So just kind of use this as a guide to make whatever sofa you want to make. So <laughs> this is more of like a little love seat. It's going to be my arms. I'm holding them up to my sofa, deciding how big they're going to be and then cutting them. Uh, so I'm just kind of weighing it depending on, you know, how big the sofa is and then I'm going to start carving. So this is where having your reference picture is super important because you want to just keep looking at your reference and then carve. And I like to use this really thin uh, serrated knife. It carves really nicely. And then I'm just making little wedges because I want my sofa to have some little tufts in it. And then I'm covering it with some Swiss meringue buttercream. Uh, this is also lemon buttercream and super yummy. I'm taking my modeling tool and I'm going to define those tufts. Stuck it in the fridge and now I'm adding another layer of icing and just smooth, smooth, smooth. So now I'm gonna add the armrest. I'm just gonna uh, have to cover the armrest with icing and smooth those out. So now I have the sofa pretty much how I want it, but then I decided it did not look mid-century modern because the arms were supposed to wrap around, so I cut a little wedge out of the top part of the sofa. Now I'm covering it with some uh, pretty orange fondant and just uh, letting the fondant kind of hang, making sure that it sticks. I'm going to cut off the excess with scissors because it can be kind of heavy and pull and you don't want that because you don't want any elephant skin on this. And then I'm just going to go over it and define all the shapes. Modeling tool is really helpful for this. So 
So now I'm going to make the line for like the sofa cushion. And it's totally okay if the corner of your little sofa where the backrest meets this, the sofa cushion tears because we're going to put pillows there so no one will know. I thought it would be cute to have little wood uh, accents on my sofa. So I'm making these kind of like wood um, ends to the armrests and I'm just honestly eyeballing it and then just making them match and uh, sticking them <laughs> on the edge of the, the sofa handles. And then I'm going to take a cell pin and do the same thing I did to the bottom of the sofa and just do kind of the wiggly lines that look like wood grain. You can print out a picture of wood grain if you want to and, and uh, follow that shape. Now this is my marvelous mold and I'm using Robin Egg Blue Madame Lulu fondant. And this looks so amazing, y'all. I'll put a link below of this mold. I love it. I use it all the time. And now I'm making a pillow. So I'm taking the same uh, brown fondant and I just honestly took a ball I'd made two the same shape and then I'm just squishing it into a pillow shape with kind of an indent in the middle because of the way pillows do because I'm going to put a button on this uh, and I'm making two that match and now we're going to paint our little afghan so I wanted it to match the sofa so I'm starting out with brown poppy paint I'll put a link to that below as well. And I'm just kind of going through and picking out lines uh, and, and painting them brown. And then I'm going to do some pink. So now I'm gonna paint my pillows to match. Now this is a little bit of brown, just to kind of highlight those tufts in the cushion. And then I'm using brown mixed with a little bit of white poppy paint to bring out the wood grain. So we were successful with our super cute sofa cake and uh, it's been munched on a little bit. Can't wait to eat some more of it. Uh, if you guys followed this tutorial, I'd love to see your pictures. Definitely tag me in them at the sugar underscore scoop on Instagram. And I'll see you guys next time. Yeah. That's beautiful. Do you want to do it? Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. This is a cake. The legs are even cake. The legs are even cake? Yeah. Okay. Really? Okay, so... And it's a day decoration. It's Mom! Yes, decoration. Yeah. You want to cut into it? Yeah, we're going to put a um, candle on it. I have a camera on it. Candles. You want oh, a piece candles. of my cake? I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it. Okay. In it. I'm going to put it on top of it. Yeah, honey gets five. Okay, let's ask, uh, let's ask uh, Shelby where we can put it. Because how, whole, how old is honey going to be? How old? Yeah. How old is honey going to be? One for each decade. Yeah, that's a good idea. Now, how about just five? I want to put it in each spot I want. Okay. 
Go for it, Eleanor. Yeah. Yeah, there you go, honey. Toward you. Toward you. Toward you. Toward you. Toward you. No. Toward you. Toward you. There you go. There you go. Nanny, help you, honey. <laughs> what? Well, let's sing happy birthday again. Thank you. I love you. We love you, honey. We love you, honey. We love you, honey. Better. <laughs> <laughs> 